I do feel that you know the direction is still on a rate cut. But I think it's just that many people were discounting the fact that maybe it might be a 50 basis rate point cut and that's off the table now. Uh, I think what would be important is to listen to what Powell says in his testimony to Congress over the next few days. And I think you will get a better indication. I think they will cut rates. The question is not if, it's when. So is it going to happen in uh, July? If it doesn't, I think the markets will pull back. But if it does, then I think people will start discounting the fact that where do we go from here? Will there be another one in September or December? Uh, so I, I suspect is that the market got a bit ahead of themselves and when the job numbers came out, they kind of pulled back that expectation. I think the same thing we are seeing across everywhere. I mean, the bond markets reacted, you know, gold reacted, you know, everything reversed itself a bit. But it's not reversing to the point where we are seeing a shift in the overall trend, just that maybe people just decided to take some money off the table. Yeah. Uh, how are you trading the US markets then if you are in fact uh, trading them. We've been talking about the record lows when it comes to uh, the bond yields, managing to recover slightly, uh, but the US market still hovering around record highs. Do you see that uh, continuing or could perhaps now, if we don't see so much certainty surrounding an interest rate cut in the United States, uh, the markets could be in for a period of perhaps uh, a bit more volatility. And we're certainly seeing that when it comes to Asian markets today trading down by more than 1%. I think we do expect volatility, but I think what the market will shift its attention to is earnings. I mean, it's going to start later this week and going into the next few weeks. And I think the, uh, the prognosis is not that great for earnings this quarter. So if we do get poor earnings, then I think the market will be in for a bit of a pullback. But if we do get you know, earnings that kind of just within expectation or slightly surprised, and, you know, depends what, as I said, what Powell says tonight, I'm sorry, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday at his testimony. And if he just gives an indication that rate cuts are in place, but the question of when, then I suspect is that the markets will be volatile, but won't fall off the cliff. So I would say, yes, earnings are going to be the key rather than interest rates. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.